What is the dashboard? Simply put, it's the place to access powerful analytics and information about your customers. Everything you see in the default dashboard is customizable, including the metrics, the type of widget, placement and order, time range, and comparisons you can make to other venues and time ranges. Customers can be segmented into two groups, connected and non-connected. Connected customers are those who sign into Wi-Fi, sharing demographic and contact information. Non-connected customers are those who have Wi-Fi enabled on their smartphones, but have never accessed the Wi-Fi. Once a non-connected customer accesses the Wi-Fi, they become a connected customer. Connected users do not need to connect to the Wi-Fi on subsequent visits. They simply need to have Wi-Fi enabled on their device. Let's take a look and break down some of the information you see. First, there are six widget types you can display. Tables, metrics, pie charts, bar graphs, line graphs, and infographics. Metrics can be displayed in multiple widget types. However, not all metrics are displayed in all widget types. Like the customers themselves, the analytics are segmented into two groups, non-connected customer analytics and connected customer analytics. So let's first take a look at the non-connected analytics. These metrics also include those who have signed into the Wi-Fi. The best way to get a feel of these metrics is to go in and play around with them. So let's do a few examples to get an idea of how they work. The first example is the total visitors metric. This shows the number of total visitors throughout the chosen time period. This time frame can be adjusted by this top bar over here, and we'll cover that in a bit. Below, the metric shows you a comparison to the previous time period. For example, we can see that they received a significantly different number this period than the last. The second example is the walk by metric. This widget includes all the devices that did not meet the time and signal threshold as determined by you. The third example is the new versus returning pie chart. This breaks down the total visitors by seeing how many of them are new versus how many of them are returning. The fourth example is the repeat distribution table which allows you to see how frequently customers return during a given time period. The fifth example is the visitor duration bar graph. This determines how long a typical customer stays. You may want to see an increase or a decrease in this number to meet your strategic goals. The final example we'll take a look at for the anonymous metrics is the Networks Trends Pie. This gives greater insight into customer interests. At a macro level, we determine where customers go throughout turnstile-powered networks. Moving on to the second group of analytics, customers who connect through social Wi-Fi. They provide metrics such as age, gender, and the social Wi-Fi users table. Let's go over some examples of how you can leverage this information provided by those who connect through social Wi-Fi. The first example is an age bar graph. This allows you to see the distribution of the age amongst those who sign into Wi-Fi. A second example is a male versus female pie chart. This shows the gender breakdown. Both of these metrics are extremely helpful in understanding your customer base and creating a targeted marketing campaign. A third example is a social Wi-Fi users table. This widget actually gives a detailed summary of all those who sign in. It shows their name, gender, the number of times they visited, the last date that they visited, and their age if it's provided, as well as the authentication method they used, for example, Facebook, Twitter, email, cell phone, etc. Note, any information that is found in this table has been freely provided by the user. For all of the above widgets, you have the option of hovering over the I to provide a summary of the widget. You can also click on the export button which allows you to export the information to an Excel CSV file or your email. Now let's take a look at how you can set the time ranges and compare venues and times. By clicking on the date range, you can adjust the time period for your selected widgets. Select the start and end date or use predefined times and all of the widgets will automatically update. In addition, you can compare the analytics in two ways. The first is through different periods of time. By clicking on the calendar button, you can compare one time period to another. This is a great way to visualize week over week or month over month trends. Or, if you prefer, you can compare between venues. You can do so by using the compare venues icon. 
you can undo either comparison by clicking this icon over here. Comparing venues is a great way to visualize store performances beyond simple sales. So this brings us to the end of the dashboard tutorial. We hope you find this helpful, and if you ever require any further assistance, please contact us at support at getturnstyle.com. Thank you for watching.